Hello and thank you for visiting my channel. I am Katie Mountain and today I'm going to take you through a yoga session specifically for office workers targeting the neck, shoulders and back. We're going to start this session in a comfortable seated position. So I like to sit on a yoga block under my bum to give my hips a bit of elevation so they're above the level of my knees. In your comfortable seat, you want to roll your shoulders back and down and bring your spine nice and long and tall. So in your comfortable seat, we're going to start off with some neck stretches. So bringing your right ear down to your right shoulder, your left hand down to the mat. And if you like, you can bring your right hand onto the left side of your head for a little bit of an extra stretch. So going to hold here for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhaling back to center. And exhale, we're gonna bring the left ear to the left shoulder, right hand down to the mat for the stretch on the right side of the neck. For five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale back to center. Now we're gonna bring the chin to the chest. So bringing the chin to the chest, looking down, you can interlace your hands and bring them above your head. You should feel a nice stretch on the back of your neck. For five, four, three, two, and one. Inhaling back to center. And then we're gonna look up to the sky. So looking up, stretching out the front of your neck, opening up the throat and five, four, three, two, and one, inhaling back to center. Now we're going to do a few head rolls. So starting on whatever side you like, just slowly roll your head round, stretching the neck. You can pause in areas where you feel a deeper stretch. Just slowly, slowly rolling the head. Keep breathing through the nose. You can close the eyes if you like. And we're gonna change directions. So same on the other side. Just slowly feeling all of the stretches throughout the neck and into the shoulders, keeping the spine nice and tall. And just a little bit longer. And coming back to center. Okay, so now we're gonna work a little bit on the shoulders. So we're gonna bring the shoulders up towards your ears and down. So up and down, up and down. A few more times, just really feeling that movement, moving them up and bringing them back down. Moving them up and down. One more time and down. Then we're gonna roll our shoulders back. So just the shoulders, just rolling them back. Feel the shoulder blades drawing in, keeping the spine nice and straight, and rolling them forwards. And then we're going to come and bring our hands up to our shoulders. We're going to do big circles with our elbows. So bringing the shoulders back and the elbows back. So you should feel this a little bit more in, in the shoulders, the rotation. And bringing them forwards. Okay, good job. So now we're gonna go into a seated twist. So what we wanna do is we're gonna bring our right hand onto the outside of the left. Knee. So we're going to place it here, 
We're gonna bring the left hand behind us, directly behind us, and then we're gonna twist. So we're gonna inhale, and in to, inhale into the twist, and then exhale, looking over the left shoulder. So you should feel a nice twist in the back, keeping the spine nice and tall and long. We're gonna hold for three, two, and one. Inhale back to center, and exhale the other side. So left hand on the outside of the right leg, and the right hand behind you. Inhale, open the chest, and into the twist. And exhale, looking over your shoulder. So we're gonna hold for three, two, and one. Inhaling back to center. Okay, so now we're gonna remove the block, or remove your cushion if you're on one from behind your body. I'm gonna pop that up here, and we're gonna come on to all fours. So on all fours, we're gonna come into our cat and cow. So el um, shoulder, elbow, and wrist stacked, and also your hip stacked over your knee. So this is neutral position. We're gonna inhale, arcing the back, open up the chest, draw the shoulder blades together, and exhale, round the back, chin to chest, push the floor away with your hands. Inhale, looking up, arcing the back, and exhale, just one more time here. Inhale, and exhale. And coming back to neutral position, bringing the palm into the center, we're gonna go for the twist, left arm up high, and bring the left arm down, right arm goes up. So we're gonna do two more times. So that's three times on each side. And inhale, you may feel one side is a bit more tight than the other. Last time on each side. Try and go for a little bit deeper. And exhale, coming down. And then we're gonna put our hands out a little bit in front of us, tuck the toes under, and push back into downward facing dog. So we're gonna come here, we're gonna go back onto all fours, push back into downward facing dog, come back onto all fours, and then push back into downward facing dog. Okay, good job. And then we're gonna lie down on flat on our stomach, so facing down on the mat. So here we're gonna go for a little back bend. So I'm gonna give you two options here. We've got cobra. So cobra, you bring your hands just about under your shoulders, legs together, and from lying flat on the mat, you're just gonna lift your chest up off the mat, about up to this position. And you wanna not curve so your shoulders should be nice and back and open, drawing your shoulder blades together. So this is your option one, so you should feel a nice stretch through the back. And option two, you can come into your upward facing dog, so it's a little bit more strenuous. So your upward facing dog, you can either have your thighs on the mat, or you can also have your thighs off the mat. So again, opening up the chest, shoulder blades drawn together and that goes for a nice stretch through the back. So wherever you are, if you're on your cobra or your upper facing dog, we're going to hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, draw the shoulder blades together, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and relax. All right, so now we're gonna come back and sit on our bums. So sitting on our bums, we're gonna come into a single leg forward fold. It's called Janu Shirshasana. So right leg comes in to the inner thigh of the left. The left leg is nice and straight. Your toes flex towards you. And then you want your body as much as possible to face forwards. Uh, forwards towards the front of the mat. 
So we're gonna inhale, open the chest, nice long back, and exhale, folding forwards first, and then down. So here you wanna grab your, your foot with whatever you can, and then exhale, folding forwards and down as far as you can. Now, a modification, you can come down to your shin, so try and keep the back as straight as possible. Or you can also use a yoga strap or a towel to hook under your foot. So we're going to come into whatever pose that you is available to you. And we're going to hold for five, four, three, which feel a nice stretch in the hamstring and also potentially the lower back. Two and one. Inhaling back up to center. Exhale, swapping legs. So this time we're bringing the left foot into the upper inner thigh. Right leg is nice and straight. We're gonna inhale, open chest, and exhale, folding forwards first, and then down. So once you find your position, we're gonna hold here for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhaling back up to center. And then we're gonna go for double straight legs. So it's called Pachimottanasana. So legs together, nice and straight. Back nice and tall, spine nice and tall. We're sitting up, shoulders back and down. Toes flex towards you. I'm gonna inhale, open the chest and exhale, folding forwards and down. So we're gonna use our peace fingers and hook them around the big toes. So once you're here, or if you've got your towel or your yoga, uh, your towel or your yoga strap, you can also use that to hook it underneath your, the balls of your feet. Or you can also come into, onto your shins. So when you're here, wherever you are, we're gonna inhale, open the chest for a half lift and exhale, folding forwards and down as far as you can. So if you have your elbows coming out to the side, that's a good, good alignment. So we're gonna hold here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, try to go a little bit deeper, five, four, three, two, and one, inhaling back up to center. Really great job. All right, so we're gonna stay on our bums. And this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our left leg kind of underneath. So we're gonna bend our left leg, kind of bring it underneath the bum, the right bum cheek. So not all the way under, but quite close to it. And we're gonna bring the right foot and bring it over the left leg so it lands about on the left side of your thigh on the mat. So bring your left leg, your right leg over here, sorry. So my left foot is kind of underneath my bum. And then we're gonna bring the right hand towards the back of our body. And we're gonna bring this arm over the right for a twist. So we're gonna inhale and exhale, twisting towards the back over your right shoulder and looking over your right shoulder. We're gonna hold here for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhaling back to center. And then we're gonna switch sides. So now bringing your right leg, tucking it under, your left leg comes over the top, and you want your right arm to come over the left of your thigh and your knee. So we're gonna inhale, open the chest, and exhale, bringing the left hand behind the body and twisting, looking over the left shoulder. So you should feel a nice stretch in your back and maybe also your glutes. And five, four, keep the chest nice and tall, three, two, and one. Inhaling back to center. Okay, so we're gonna go into a couple last poses. So this one is in and back bend. So coming into 
Uh, so we're going to stay on our bums actually to begin. We're going to come into Setu Bandasana, which is half bridge pose. So lying with your back on the mat, you're going to bring your heels towards your bum where you're about your fingertips touch. Hands flat down on the mat. And your back should be nice and flat on the mat. Heels should be about hip width apart. So we're going to inhale the bum up. And we're going to just bring it down. So here we don't want our knees coming outwards. We want them to stay parallel. So inhale the bum up. And exhale, bring it down one more time. Inhale the bum up. Use the glutes and exhale it down. So this time we're going to inhale the bum up. We're going to bring our hands together behind our back, behind our bum. Ro like roll the shoulders under. So drawing the, scap the shoulder blades together. And then we're going to squeeze the hands together, bring the bum up. And we're going to hold here for five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale, coming down. Excellent job. All right, now coming up, we're going to sit back on our shins. And we're going to come into a camel pose. So sitting back on our shins, we want our palms on the lower of our back for support and our hands facing down. And our bingo wings trying to come in. So from here, knees, legs should be about hip width apart. We're going to inhale, bringing the hips forwards. You're going to go into a back bend. So keeping the hips forwards, opening up the chest, drawing the shoulder blades together, dropping the neck and head back into a relaxed position. So just go as far as you can. Then inhale, coming up. So we're going to do this three times. So if you can, I'll show you the next variation. So the full camel pose. So we're going to inhale, coming back. And if you feel comfortable, you can bring your hands down onto your heels. Okay, this is a very deep back bend. Keeping the hips pushing forwards and opening up the chest. And it's a, quite a deep back bend here. So only if you feel comfortable, you come into this pose. And we're going to hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale slowly back up to center. And no matter what position you're in, we're going to go one more time. So we're going to go inhale. And five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale, coming back and sitting back down on your mat. We're gonna come straight into our child's pose. So bringing your knees together. So there's a couple of different variations for child's pose. So you can bring your knees together and come down with your hands out in front. You can bring your hands down to the side. And the other option is also to bring your knees as wide, about as wide as the mat or a little bit, a little bit closer. And you can also come out into your child's pose like this. Bringing the hands forwards and relax the arms down on the mat. So no matter where you are, after the back bend, we need to come into some sort of forward fold for alignment for the body. So we're gonna stay here for a few breaths. slowly rise up and coming into our Shavasana. So in our Shavasana we're going to lie with our backs flat on the mat, our feet about mat width apart, palms facing up about 45 degrees away from the body. Now in Shavasana we're going to relax everything in the body let all the muscles sink down into the mat. Relax your feet, 
your legs, your arms. Keep breathing through the nose and listen to your breath. Start wiggling our fingers and our toes to reawaken the body. We're going to bring our arms straight above our head, like a stretch in the morning. We're going to take a deep inhale here and exhale through the mouth. One more time and let it all out. rolling onto the right side of your body into fetal position. Just going to pause here. And coming back up to center, coming back up to seated position, keeping the eyes closed, coming back into your comfortable seat. You can bring the palms onto the top of your knees, keeping your eyes closed, I'm going to bring the palms into heart center, into prayer position, I'm going to inhale here and exhale through your mouth. And when you're ready, you may open your eyes. Namaste. If you enjoyed this yoga session, please remember to give it a like, share your comments and also share it with your friends. Namaste.